Well, Stevenage haven't played for close to six months. It's been a quick summer turnaround for Portsmouth's players who suffered the heartache of defeat on penalties in the League One playoffs semi-final in early July. This, though, is Stevenage's first competitive match in 175 days. A matter of weeks ago, they were preparing for life in non-league football. Rowan is kept in play. Coker checks back. Threaded through by Charlie Carter. Harness though will clear for Portsmouth. Cuthbert wins the header on the halfway line for Stevenich. He finished rock bottom of the league when it was ended prematurely as it's brought down inside the area. It was a terrible mistake at the back. And it gifts Stevenich an eighth minute lead through Elliot List. Well, Sean Raggett missed it as the ball was played over the top by Luke Prosser. And the defender, he was on loan at Pompey last season. He's moved permanent from Norwich in the summer. Not fault for the opening goal. Cuthbert wins the header from the off. And again, Pompey put under pressure at the back. And again, there's confusion as Alex Bass comes a long way out of his goal. Bolton dealt with it calmly. Raggett didn't, though, and they're in more trouble here. It's Carter. It's 2-0. Two goals in two minutes. And catastrophe for Portsmouth at the back. Sloppy defending. And Stevenage, who, well, Thought they were dropping out of the Football League until Macclesfield were relegated in their place. Are 2 0 up in the EFL Cup. Made back by Bolton to Tom Naylor, who was a surprising omission for the playoff matches against Oxford. Evans, it's a good cross in, and it's a good save as well from coming the goalkeeper, not once but twice. Marquis is denied from close range. Saved the first with his leg and the second, the follow-up from Ronan Curtis was even better. Reflex save from the 20-year-old who's on loan from Chelsea. Alex Ravel's first full season in senior management at Stevenage. It's Portsmouth boss Kenny Jackett's 24th. Curtis now onto the right foot. And Pompey are oh, back in the game. What an entertaining first half this has been with 21 minutes on the clock. And Ronan Curtis, who scored 14 goals last season, but they really dried up in the new year. Only three after December makes it 2 1. Fion with his shirt tucked there, one of the many summer arrivals. For Alex Ravel and a set piece opportunity for Stevenich. The ball is played into the area by Osborne. Effion goes up for the header and Alex Bass couldn't keep the ball out before he goes for a corner. And a set piece again for Pompey to have to deal with. They conceded direct from a corner against Oxford in their playoff semi final. Swung in towards the near post. The goalkeeper comes and completely misses it. And it's a scramble inside the area. Effion plays it back across and somehow it's turned in. It's the captain, Scott Cuthbert, with the goal. And a two-goal advantage for Stevenage once more. And once more, Kenny Jackett will be absolutely furious at his sides defending. They'd outnumbered the Stevenage players inside the area. But still, the League Two side found a way through. Coming with a good kick downfield. Effion can't get his head on the end of that one, though. Vincelo is beaten to the ball in midfield, but Cuthbert is a heavy touch from him. Harness now sets off on a run. What a skillful player he is. And Harness looks up and gets the cross in. Headed clearance from Coker, and the shot comes in from Marquis. He thinks there's a handball, and the referee agrees. And in first half stoppage time, 
Portsmouth have a penalty. Let's see the incident again. It was Coca who headed it clear. And when the shot came in again, his arms were up. Can't really argue with that one. Gareth Evans, 32 years of age, takes responsibility and scores. And that could well change the whole complexion in the second half. What a first half it's been. Stevenage 3 2 up. Craig McGilvery has been brought on in goal for Portsmouth in the second half. An interesting substitution by Kenny Jacket. He might have some work to do as well. As the shot comes in, it's dragged wide by Charlie Carter from the edge of the area. Carter made it 2-0 in the first half. List puts the substitute keeper under pressure. This time though, Pompey always encouraged to play from the back. So a little more composure on the ball. Portsmouth have lost their last two competitive encounters with Stevenage. Both matches coming in the 16-17 season. So it's laid off by Evans. Help through towards Marquis, who has a go. And that is the goal of the game. And Portsmouth are level. Good build-up play as well. Slip through for John Marquis. Brilliant finish from the striker. Coming with the goal kick. No free kick given. Cuthbert punts it downfield. Young couldn't quite bring the ball under control. Vancelo now caught it in possession and Portsmouth come forward again. It's Harness. Harness hangs up the cross. Deflected effort. Good save from coming. It was Ronan Curtis on the end of the opportunity who adjusted his body well to get the shot in. Came off Luther Wild in and the goalkeeper got down low to save. Brown with a dangerous looking back pass, helped on to his goalkeeper. McGilvery plays it downfield, but that is the full time whistle. And this season's competition goes straight to penalties. No extra time. Effiong is first up for Stevenich against Craig McGilvery. Calm as you like, sends him the wrong way. And Stevenich put a bit of pressure on. It's John Marquis, the two number nines, taking the first two penalties. Marquis, just like Effiog, sends the keeper the wrong way. It's 1-1. Danny Newton, the substitute, recently signed a new contract with the club. It's a long run-up from Newton, and it's saved by the goalkeeper. It's advantage Portsmouth now, having lost their... Playoff penalty shootout against Oxford United. Second game in succession that goes to penalties. And Ronan Curtis blasts it into the roof of the net. 2-1 Pompey lead. Elliot Osborne is next up for Stevenage. And it's a second save by Craig McGilvery. Lee Brown, the defender. A left-footed spot kick. Keeper went the right way, but there was too much power and the pressure is now on. It's Ben Coker to take it. Has to score to give Stevenage any chance of staying in the game. And it's a hat trick of saves for Craig McGilvery. Well, often you hear of inspired substitutions. Normally, it's at the other end of the pitch, but the goalkeeper who came on at half-time is the match hero for Portsmouth. Three penalty saves, and having been 2-0 down and 3-1 down, they come back to take it to spot kicks, and they progress.